Alrighty, lads, you with Budget Monk, and welcome back to my Holy Roman Empire guide. In this session, we're going to be talking about the Shadow Kingdom reign in Italy, and also another imperial incident, a Holy Empire, which is basically bringing the Pope into the Holy Roman Empire immediately. It will it will happen once reign in Italy is resolved. Of course, the Shadow Kingdom incident has to be resolved. So, with that being said, let's jump straight into things. We're just going to talk immediately about reign in Italy and basically cover really quickly as to how you achieve this. If you're looking to achieve this, you want to mouse over this um, as it gives you really quite some good insight. So you can see here that you need the Italians to be reined in and it will show you when you mouse over each particular Italian. And the ways that you achieve this is by giving them the free city government status. If they are a subject of Austria, if they are allied to Austria, if they have been defeated in a war, uh, but also they cannot be, um, they have to be individually appeased out. So, for example, if you were fighting Mantua and Milan, but Milan was the war leader, and you actually defeated Milan, you will still not have defeated Mantua, even though the leader of the war was defeated. You would have to separately appease Mantua, defeat them, and then defeat Milan in order for both to register so just be aware of that and then finally the last way to achieve them to check them off the list is to gain 150 relations so we just started a 1444 game here really quickly just to demonstrate this guy so if we ally milan which is one of the requirements right each nation has to have the requirements filled you can see that milan is now no longer highlighted because we have achieved one of the objectives which in this case is to ally him so by mousing over this, you can get a really good indication as to who needs to still be dealt with. And that way you don't need to remember which nation has been defeated in a war and which one has not. But make sure to understand, of course, that this can only be done even if you have completed uh, the requirements with each different nation. Right, so we'll ally Florence here really quickly. It can only be done once the Shadow King incident has taken place. And the Shadow King incident, it happens in 1460. It's just an incident. It will take about 12 months to actually go through here in the Imperial incidents. And you have to choose that you wish to reign in Italy in order to then be able to hit this button. So it means the earliest that you can do this is about 1461. Alrighty lads, in regards to my specific game, I've been improving relations as of, you know, PU and Hungary and then fighting our next war, which was an imperial ban war against Denmark. You want to be, as you get nearer and nearer to the Shadow Kingdom, resolving it, you want to actually be improving relations with Italians, obviously, because you want to reach that 150 relations. I will say that in my case, the reign in Italy was actually really quite easy. Some other things throughout the series so far have not gone so well, such as a Hussite Bohemia or not getting the Hungarian Union for free. So we haven't been having actually the best game. However, this reign in Italy was particularly easy for me. Uh, it may be more difficult for you guys. However, the solutions that I provide, I believe that you can reign in Italy without actually defeating a single nation in a war by using the methods which I will espouse here shortly. I just want to remind you though, guys, you do want to be, as the timing comes right, you just generally want to be improving relations with Italians, but specifically the Italians that you haven't defeated in a war. Uh, even nations that you'll potentially ally, obviously if the relations are higher, they're going to be more inclined to flip friendly with you. And um, Austria, being a diplo powerhouse, does definitely have the ability to potentially ally a nation and then even ally the arrival here in Italy due to the friendly status. So make sure to keep those relations jammed. Now, the next important thing we want to talk about is timing, guys. So I actually want to do this not necessarily as quickly as possible, which would be about 1461, but instead I want to do it when I'm near 25 Imperial Authority. And the reason why is when you reign in Italy, you get an event called the Shadow Kingdom, which gives you 25 Imperial Authority. So you're going to want to, number one, be at peace. But number two, you're going to want to pass a reform and therefore have that event bump you over 50 as quickly as possible. You want to pass that reform ASAP. Now, let's talk about a couple things. That means that if your Imperial Authority is very low, you're going to want to wait till it's higher. And alternatively, if your Imperial Authority is very high, like 40, for example, 
then you're also going to wait until you have passed a reform so that the additional imperial authority that you obtain through the event doesn't go to waste. Some people might ask, well, why does it matter if your imperial authority is low, you still get the 25? Uh, the reason why is because the Holy Empire Imperial Incident, basically the Pope, so long as they have less than 10 provinces, they will have a one year mean time to happen, 12 months mean time to happen event, which will uh, begin the Imperial Incident where they join the Empire. And of course, that's going to give you additional Imperial authority as well as people vote to have them into the empire which means just statistically speaking it's very likely that due to those two events that you're going to go way over 50 but also remember you cannot pass a reform during an imperial incident you have to make sure that they resolve so you basically want to be at 25 gain another 25 pass a reform and then get the next incident and bump your imperial authority up higher again so make sure that the timing is correct even if it takes you another four or five years after the Shadow Kingdom incident has resolved. All right, so having passed the third idea in court, I unlock the Austrian national tradition, giving you 10% more imperial authority, and that means I'm going to gain 2.5 more imperial authority when we get the event, giving us 25 imperial authority. Therefore, I know that I'm well over 50 imperial authority, and it's time to go, go, go pass the reign now. So that also allows me to, of course, bestow imperial grace. That is one of the methods in which once you have defeated as many and you, you keep them out of your mind, and now you ally as many Italians as you can, but ally in a very deliberate manner as to get as many as possible, you will then see how many Italians remain who you need to obtain relations with. And if you're going to be over 50, maybe one or two or three over, I recommend rather than waiting around as you might think it's a waste, instead bestow Imperial Grace to give you the relations with those and therefore get this out of the way. Because the sooner you do this, the sooner the incidents will come, which give you more Imperial Authority. And as you get deeper and deeper into the reforms, you start being more efficient. So don't worry about wasting a little bit here. We want to get this done as soon as possible. Uh, with that being said, let's begin to talk about relations, which are going to be with the Italians that you have not allied and you have not previously defeated in a war. And the methods, of course, to obtain relations are going to consist of royal marriages. You can royal marry each Italian in the required zone here, with the exception of Genoa. So keep that in mind. You may wish to you know, have an extra bias towards attempting to ally Genoa. Uh, in terms of scornful insults of course that can improve relations you wish to do them very street strategically and you can scornful insult your own ally remember guys as long as your positive relations and retain him as an ally you don't need the relations to be up to 150 so the scornful insults are going to be composed of nations outside of the designated area or nations you have already defeated in battle or your own ally in order to improve relations with the target Italians who need 150. Other methods include, of course, gifts, or if you are a great power, you can influence the nation. Uh, and this is why I really recommend, you know, when it comes down to business, guys, as Austria, you want to keep your economy high. This is why I've been selling Crown Land, for example, as opposed to even taking the Monarch points, because we want to keep that capital high so we can take care of business. Of course, there may be the rare occasion where you can take on foreign debt as well, which will give you relations based on how much you're actually paying to that nation. But uh, of course, proclaiming a guarantee on a nation who, you know, doesn't want to ally you will give you relations. Potentially tr transferring trade power, guys, if it's a particularly small nation, you may be able to do that. And what you'll find is, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually not too difficult, especially if you're willing to bestow Imperial Grace. Rest assured, all of these nations are inside the Empire, and therefore you can bestow on each and every single one of them. I will say that it's quite important here in Italy, guys, that you do not actually demand unlawful territory recently, or else they're going to be really pissed off, right? So you can see in my case, Pisa is actually of a significant size, and he's actually gobbled up uh, Florence, for example. And we're just going to allow him to get away with that scot-free as it's much more beneficial to keep all of the land and therefore princes inside the empire than it is to actually demand the unlawful and potentially offend him. But lo and behold, there we go. 
We have passed the reign in Italy, giving me 25 imperial authority and being at peace, of course, and the additional three imperial authority we overkill in regards to those who are in favor of voting. Uh, any imperial authority over 50 gives you reasons to be voted for. I am willing here, trying to keep it efficient, to bestow on a few nations, and I choose Bohemia because Bohemia is going to be a target of a personal union, which is going to make him really mad. And I wish to get the additional relations uh, so that we can uh, get him over zero relations as quickly as possible, as well as bestowing upon certain electors. Electors, and I only do that because we're overkilling the amount required. So there we go, passing our second reform in 1467. So one of the things you can do, guys, is basically take advantage of the fact that people are voting for you with that 50 imperial authority if you can abdicate while you're at peace. So that's what I like to do if available. When I pass a reform, it takes time for those nations to update their elections and their votes based on the fact that your imperial authority has gone down. But if you are at peace, just like that, and if, if abdicate is available, we can abdicate our ruler going from our initial you know, 50 down to zero and boom, bumping back up to 11 in my case because we get 10% more imperial authority. Rest assured, of course, guys, now the holy empire incident where the Pope will be incorporated into the Empire is going to take place with 12 months meantime to happen. As the two requirements are that the Pope has fewer than 10 provinces and that the Shadow Kingdom event has been resolved. That's going to be it for this session, guys. I hope you enjoyed that you learned something. I hope you're feeling as good about the reign in Italy as I am. I feel like it's in a good spot as opposed to where it used to be in the past. And as long as your timing is good, it's nice and valuable and rewarding. So with that being said, make sure to stay tuned to the next session where we're going to be talking about a plethora of different topics, including dealing with France and Poland who most likely are going to have unlawful territory. Also helping compel nations to join the Holy Roman Empire, which is going to generate imperial authority, and also compelling various imperial incidences to take place right now where your imperial authority is most likely low, helping you pass more reforms. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you live or I'll see you in another video.